here alongside Dalton Pence of North Carolina Baseball. Today we're going to sit down and get to know a little bit more about Dalton. Dalton, first of all, how are you doing? I'm good. It's, uh, it's been a good day so far, so glad to be out here at Bourne. Glad to hear it. So first thing I ask everybody when we sit down like this, how did you get into baseball? Uh, my whole family played baseball growing up. My dad was my t-ball coach and coached throughout Little League, and I watched my older brother play, so that's kind of how I really got into it. And you grew up in North Carolina. You eventually would go on to commit and play baseball at UNC. Was it always a dream of yours to play for your state school? Yes, it has. Uh, a bunch of my neighbors were state fans, but my whole family's been North Carolina fans, except for my brother. So he was a dookie, surprisingly. <laughs> he was always the one that liked everybody else, but I knew when I got the offer from Forbes and them at North Carolina, that's where I wanted to go play baseball. Yeah, and a couple of your North Carolina teammates played up here at Bourne last summer. Did they tell you about the Cape Cod experience and playing for this organization before you got here? They did. Uh, Fish, or not Fish, but uh, Mac, Frick, and Sandy, all three told me that it was one of the best times of my life, and it's lived up to it this summer. Speaking of Fish, though, he will be a Tar Heel next fall. How excited are you that he's going to be joining your guys' pitching staff? I'm excited. He's a, he's a good player. Uh, he competes his butt off and he'll, he'll help us a lot. Meanwhile, this summer you've gotten to learn a lot from other pitchers here at Bourne and the coaching staff. Coach Lander is a pitching guy himself. What has it been like learning from these guys up here? It's been good learning from Landers. Um, I came up here and trying to learn the slider a little bit more, um, continue gaining command of my all-speed pitches. And so being up here with Coach Landers, it's, it's helped a lot this summer. Just not as much pressure as the college season, but just fine-tuning things. Back in that college season, you only made a couple starts as a Tar Heel. Mostly we're coming out of relief, and that's how your career here at Bourne started too. But as of late, you've entered that starting rotation. How's it been adjusting from relief to starting performances? Uh, adjusting has just been just the workload, just the preparation throughout the week. Um, with the starting rotation, you just got to like spread out how you do things. You can't just, it's more organized, so to speak, than, than relief pitching. Mm -hmm. And how have you liked becoming a starter here in Bourne? I have. It's, uh, it's helped me out with my, uh, how do you say this? my routine throughout <laughs> the week. So it's, it's been very helpful. Now let's talk about you a little bit. You told me you're a big history guy. That's your major at school. How do you decide on that? And what's your favorite part of history to study? Growing up, my brother was a big history nerd, and uh, my mom always said that he would be the history teacher, or the big guy in history, but I guess growing up around it, I kind of got interested in it, and so that's what what I like to study. Mm -hmm. And what kind of American history do you like? It's American, right? American history. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's what I thought. What's your favorite period? The World War One, and World War Two period. Okay, nice. I study history at school, too. I'm a big Revolutionary War person, yeah. but I like World War Two too. It's good. Um, also, you're a pretty superstitious guy. I remember a couple weeks ago you had a start you weren't super proud of. You went home, you shaved your face <laughs> to try and make some changes. What are some of your biggest baseball game day superstitions? Um, I usually wake up at the same time every day and eat the same breakfast. So I usually get up around 7.30 every morning and then I'll go fix two English muffins with peanut butter on them and then two eggs scrambled. And then I'll drink a whole bottle of water with that. And that's my kind of breakfast in the morning and then I go to Grey Gables and get a county road for lunch. Yes. <laughs> I know all of you guys say that you go to Grey Gables that's your pre-game meal so uh, glad to hear it you get working the discount right? Yes yeah. been working the discount a lot. <laughs> Good. Um, what's been your favorite part of being a Born Brave this summer? Uh, just getting the whole Cape experience these the fans here I'm from a small town in North Carolina and we get a bunch of fans for baseball and just kind of having that same atmosphere up here makes me feel a lot like home. So that's been, it's been really fun and really enjoyable. How's, been, how's it been, you know, how are the vibes in the bullpen? I know you also come to the dugout a lot. What's it like getting to know every guy, a guy on this team? It's fun getting to know new faces, uh, getting to know where they're from, just their background and how they pitch compared to how I pitch. It's just, it's interesting how different pitchers can be. So it's been real fun. Yeah, and who are some of the guys you've gotten the closest with this summer? Uh, Henry Weicker, uh, you mentioned Fish earlier, uh, Ryan Free. Um, those are the three main ones that I've kind of gotten close with. But I mean, we all kind of just joke around and goof off down there in the bullpen. Yeah, and you made your final regular season start yesterday at Chatham. You'll have the opportunity to pitch in playoffs for Bourne. How excited are you for that? I'm very excited. It'll be, it'll be a fun, fun time. Awesome. So. And any goals you have for that final start in the rest of your summer here? Just 
giving it everything I have for one, one final start. So. Awesome. Well, that's been Dalton Pence from North Carolina. Thank you, Dalton. Thank you.